Being able to do keyword searches on the Internet can return a vast list of web pages that contain that keyword, but this is often just the first step in finding what you're looking for. Fortunately, Internet Explorer features a tool that simplifies this task, the Find Bar. By entering the keyword in the Find Bar, you'll be able to find exactly where in the web page the keyword is mentioned. You can simply use the Control F key combination or the Find on this page command on the edit menu, and the Find Bar will appear below the row of tabs in your browser window. Then you can begin entering a word or phrase into the bar and Internet Explorer will search character by character as you type. Any matching text within the web page will be highlighted in yellow to enhance the readability of the search results. You've searched the World Wide Web for information about Guatemala. Having found a page with a good amount of data, you'd like to locate some specific details on the page. You'll use the Find Bar to pinpoint this information within the web page. We found this web page, which has some good information about Guatemala. We want to find out a little more about the Mayan influence on the country. Rather than scan the whole page ourselves, let's use the Find Bar to see if we can locate any relevant information. First, we'll need to open the Find Bar, which we can do by selecting the Find on this page command on the Edit menu. The Find Bar now appears beneath the tab row of the browser window. Now we're ready to locate some information about the Maya within this page. Since the insertion point is already where we want it, we'll begin by typing the first letter of the word we're looking for. Remember, Internet Explorer searches character by character, rather than waiting for you to enter the entire word or phrase. Notice all the letter M's that have been highlighted on the page. Let's type the next letter of the word Maya so that we can narrow down the results. The highlighted results have narrowed a bit, but let's go ahead and enter the letter Y to narrow it even further. We finally found a match that pertains to what we're looking for. Notice on the far right side of the find bar that Internet Explorer tells us that 11 total matches were found. The first match is highlighted blue to show that it's the current result that Internet Explorer is showing us. Let's go to the next match by using the Next button found on the Find Bar. The Next button has advanced us to our next match. Notice this match is now highlighted in blue. We can also see from here a couple of other matches as well, including our previous match, as they're highlighted in yellow. After skimming over the information about the Maya shown here, we can move on to the next match. Let's do that now. We found more matches pertaining to what we're looking for. It looks like the Maya had a very significant influence on Guatemalan culture, and this page gives us a general idea of that impact. We could go on to check out the rest of the matches, but we're finished for now, and we're ready to close the Find Bar. All we have to do is click the Close button on the far left side of the bar. We've closed the Find Bar now. As you use the Internet, you might find a web page that, at first glance, does not seem to contain the information you're looking for. Remember though, Internet Explorer's Find Bar can help you find desired text in a particular page easily. Because you don't have to wade through all of the page's content, you can find information much faster.